Hey everyone, Spinta24 here, just popping in to say happy Thanksgiving to all my neighbors to the south in the U.S. Um, wish you all a pleasant and enjoyable Thanksgiving. We've already had ours in October in Canada, so enjoy. Anyway guys, the re reason I'm coming in is just to pop in and do a miscellaneous natural hair haul. Um, these are some products that I've been using over a period of time and I don't think it's necessary for me to dedicate individual um, review videos on them because it ain't necessary and also most of these stuff have been reviewed time and time again on here so let's get into it. I don't want this to be too long. My first um, thing that I want to say a quick review thingy on is the Tresemme Naturals Conditioner. Love this stuff. Um, it is silicone free. It's nourishing. It's a nourishing and moisture conditioner. It has aloe vera and avocado. Love this stuff. Y'all, you know that I don't deny the fact that I enjoy using cones. I love cones because it makes my detangling process much easier and smoother, literally. Um, no pun on the word smoother. And I love um, cones. But the thing about it, some cones can leave build up on your hair and kind of act as a barrier so you don't really get the moisture and stuff that you need. Um, however, although this is silicone free, it really detangles my hair like a dream. Love this stuff. I encourage you guys to pick it up. It's Trust Me Naturals. It has quite a bit of oils and so on in it. Check it out. Um, and I'm sorry, I slept on this. Um, Blue Art Lisa. Lisa, I'll put her channel thing here. She was raving about this and was saying how she, sorry she had slept on this. She was that she slept on this. Me too y'all. I'm sorry I slept on this product because I think this is going to be a permanent fixture in my regimen because it's, you know, it, it, it does what it says it does. Okay, the next thing that I really love and I want to put y'all on onto it. I've spoken about this before. is the organic stimulating Therapy shampoo. Love this. Wonderful stuff. I discovered its benefit because I had an itchy scalp because of henna in and this really knocks the itchiness out of your hair. Okay, it worked really well to eliminate the itchiness and I enjoyed. I enjoy using it. Um, and it does do what it says it does which is Itchy, the, it gets rid of the itchy scalp. It does say it revitalizes dry thinning hair, but I use it for the benefits of the scalp. It gives to the scalp. The next thing that I love and was quite perplexed as what to do with it when I just got it. I have had this jar for about two years now. It's a Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Really got to acquaint myself with this product because um, I never got to really use it, dedicated my time to using it because I had so many other things and I am determined to use up my product stash. Now, at first I wasn't sure what to do with it because I thought in my head, I didn't read because I was so excited to have been able to lay my hands on this when I went to the States that it was like a styling product, but it really isn't. It is for moisturizing your hair. That's what I use it for. And um, one thing about this thing, it moisturizes your hair, but more than that, it leaves your hair extremely, extremely soft. Um, the moisturizing quality for me doesn't last very long, but I don't mind because the softness lasts for a very long time. So I really love that about this product. Um, the smell is delicious. It's a coconut smell. and. As you guys know, you can get this in your stores at the, in the States. There was a buy one, get one free the other day. So I really love this stuff. Um, it really does well when I need to kind of revamp and revitalize my hair. I spritz my hair, put this on, and I can really um, be assured that my hair will feel, feel very good and soft and moisturized. Even if it's not for that long. Um... The next thing is the Echo Style Argan Oil Styling Gel. Not too crazy about this. I have I gave away some of it to my aunt when she was visiting from New York because she ran out of her gel. Um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. I just find that it is very stiff, has a very, very stiff hold. It does say maximum hold of 10, so fine. But I think the 
our, the Echo Styler olive oil is a maximum hole of 10 too, but I didn't find that it was that stiff. I think I'm going to, after finishing this, I'm going to go back to my um, IC Fantasia because I'm not crazy about this one, but I do not mind the olive oil kind. So, um, let me guys, let, you, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, it's good value for your money though. I'll encourage you and a lot of people have had rave reviews about it, but for me, it wasn't that great. I hate when my hair is too stiff when I do gel. I know that's the purpose of gel, but if I slip my hair back one, one day and the next day I want to leave my hair loose, it's just, I just don't want to have to wash my hair again or wet my hair too much to get it into another style. With this, I know I have to wash my hair again and ain't got time for that, y'all. Okay? So, that's that for this. Um, another thing that I loved. Uh, uh, um, subscriber of mine sent me this and it's a black soap. It was a sample of it. And one thing with black soap and I, um, when I use it on my face, it breaks me out. It doesn't work very well for me on my face. So I use it mostly for a body wash. This one, however, is called In Essence Black Soap. I-N-E-S-S-C-E-N-T-S. -E black African Soap. It's unscented. Use this for my face and I absolutely love, love it. You know how sometimes black soap makes your hair, your face feel dry? I already have dry skin. I don't want to have that feeling. This actually feels very moisturizing. The ingredients are purified water, cocoa pod powder, plantain peel powder, virgin coconut oil, and virgin palm kernel oil. I'll get some more information on this from my subscriber and at some point attach it in the description box but I really really highly recommend this and I think this is something I'll be ordering at some other time okay really loving that another thing that I am loving are these headbands um, my hair is not being I, I, I don't want to wear my hair out too much nowadays because I find I'm having a very very bad issue with dry, my hair feeling very dry and that's probably my fault because I don't drink enough water and also um, and I need to really really try to drink water I hate water but I should be drinking more water so I've been pulling my hair back example this hairstyle I pretty much have been rocking all week I washed it this morning and I just pull it back in this I probably will twist it up later with something but anyway because I've been doing that a lot, I've been using a lot of headbands, and these I really love. These are from Conair, and they're two. They're one in the brownish, like a turquoise color, and the black. These are Conair. I got this at that bargain discount store called Brands Callwell, and this pack of two Conair um, flexible hairbands were actually a dollar so I think that's a great price and I if you guys can get to that store it's fine it does have the magnetic pieces on there but what I typically do is wrap them with something so um, I highly recommend this um, another thing that I've been loving and that's what's been holding my hair together here is this comb um, I used to get these in Jamaica actually but I actually found these in a store here years ago, the um, accessory store called Arden. But there are two different kinds. This is the more sturdy type, and there's another one that's not as sturdy, but I love this. This really keeps my hair together when my hair, when I want to pull my hair back in a ponytail. And it holds quite a lot of hair, like, I really... I remember my mom used to put these in my hair when I was a kid going to, to primary school. So this is my hair and it really holds it very well. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and it doesn't catch your hair. I find that these are kind of getting my hair caught and I'm not too crazy about that. Especially if I'm pulling it together, pulling it back. So I really love these. I don't know if they still have these at Arden, but you can definitely check to see if you do find them. They just, it's almost like a banana clip, but it's round. And these are cool. Another thing, guys, that I don't 
mind using is this that I had acquired in the state in the summer. It's the Cow's Daughter uh, Lot Butter. Okay, it really goes on really smoothly. It's more of a pom pomade than anything else. Um, I'm going to stick my finger in there because I don't want to get my hands all greasy. Okay, and that's another thing. You cannot use a lot because it will make your hair greasy. And I find because my hair is longer now, it does... Like, if a product in my hair that has a lot of grease in it and I use it excessively, my shoulders get greasy. And I don't want my shoulders to get all broken out in bumps. Okay? Um, but I don't mind it. It's smooth. It emulsifies very well. It's not one that I would recommend for definition, but I really like it. Um, and the only other thing I'm not too crazy about is the smell. It's a very citrus smell because it has a lot of essential oils that are citrus. But in my mind, it kind of smells like this antiseptic that we had in Jamaica called Dettol. And that's just what it reminds me of, which I'm not too crazy. And I'm a person that's not too picky about... Um, I'm not picky about smells, but that kind of throws me off sometimes but I love this I love the Carol's Daughter Lot Butter but I think I actually love what I love even more which I got a sample from Honey Fig is the um, Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey that is the balm I used up the little sample and I do love the hair balm which I actually would. yeah so I really like the Mimosa Hair Honey the little sample that I had gotten and I'm gonna be I'm going to be buying that and the uh, hair balm because, you know, it's great to use to slip back your hair because I ain't feeling gel right now. I just think that might be contributing to the dryness in my hair too, although I don't use it excessively. And I honestly, I think I need to, when I have the time, when I'm finished school, I need to focus on um, retaining moisture in my hair, finding that protein moisture balance. Um, I'm not sure how to go about that. I know about Hyperthermal by Natural, but I find their products very expensive, especially to ship hair, so I can't do that. So I'm going to have to explore and do some experimentation as to how to do that. I'm going to probably embark on a pH balance journey because I just find that my hair ends are just always dry and scary looking, um, despite the, the care that I take with it. And again, I think I just need to drink some more water. So stay tuned for now. Um, I'll be getting my hair flat iron next week based on that deal that Miss Afro Bella had announced. Um, and I will, of course, fill you in, guys, and let you know how um, the experience goes and how my hair turns out. Okay, guys? And I have to tell you, you have to go check out Vanny's channel she just got her hair flat iron and it looks the bomb okay her hair is so gorgeous you know her hair is already so thick it really looks so healthy and shiny and I'm hoping that I'll have a similar experience where you know my hair will be well taken care of I don't have to worry about anything right so anyway guys take care and for you guys again happy Thanksgiving in the States take care and have a great day bye